Smart, smart, smart. Everything is just smart these days. But what if everything isn't smart? Hmm. Nope, I think I'll stick with the smart word because we're doing a smart home series and I gotta be smart too, you know? Welcome to the first episode of Automation where we talk about reviews, tips and tricks and guides on smart home products and services. And today, we're going to show you this little guy right here. This is the Akara A100 Smart Door Lock. Now, we recently upgraded our smart lock to this one because it is one of the most affordable, in fact, it is the most affordable smart door lock with a fingerprint sensor in the market right now that costs only 1,399 ringgit. And I'm going to show you all the features that you can do with it, including, of course, automation because it works works with Akara's ecosystem of products and you can do a lot of automation stuff that other more expensive smart locks couldn't. So let's get to it. Now as you can see right here, the Akara A100 smart door lock is a pretty handsome looking door lock despite being a really affordable one. Now right over here, this is how it looks like at the back here, so you get a handle. This is a mortise lock by the way, not a dead bolt. Now you do see a hole right up here because that is actually our, our old smart lock which was removed and we kind of have to use the silicone to just fill up this hole which I haven't had time to find something to replace it, right? But let's talk more about this door lock right now. So on the back here, you actually see the battery cover here. So you get a total of eight batteries. So the A100 will technically still work if you have four batteries on, but of course with a shorter battery life. That's because it actually has a total battery life of 18 months. Now that's very long for a smart door lock and in fact it is one of the longest in the market right now. So you also get a couple of buttons right here to reset the door lock or even to do some settings if you want to. Now over here you do get this uh, switch right over here that locks the door in case if you want some extra privacy for not having anyone intrude uh, your privacy at home, right? So you can just simply turn this and it will lock the door and nobody will be able to unlock from the outside, all right? So let's open the door right now, all right? So this is how it looks like on the front here. So you get a glass touch panel here with all the numbers for you to enter your pin. So basically the A100 will support four types of unlocking methods, namely the pin, it supports NFC cards, a fingerprint, or by using your iPhone because this smart lock is the first in the market to support Apple's home key feature. So you can simply just tap your iPhone or your Apple Watch on it and it will simply unlock the door. And that's super convenient if you're using your iPhone as your main wallet and you don't want to carry any extra wallets out once you're out of your home. Now, setting up the Akara A100 for the first time is actually pretty straightforward and you don't necessarily need to own an Akara Smart Hub to do it, though that is actually recommended if you have one because that will enable you to do all the automation tasks that the door lock is able to offer. Now, of course, to set it up for the first time, you will need to download the Akara uh, Smart Home app that is on my iPhone, as you can see on the screen record right now. So once you add it in, it will appear on your home screen just like this. Now, as you can see, the user interface is actually pretty straightforward now of course it has a message that says that my door is not closed right now and it will even have a beep if you want to have that set of course i've turned it off just in case it gets into my microphone of course so let's get into the settings one by one to let you guys see how it actually works all right so first of all we're going to head over to user management all right so this is where you can add a list of users that's coming into your home so you simply have to tap add right over here and simply just add a name and add a fingerprint. Now, let me show you guys on how you add on a fingerprint to the A100. So let's just tap on add fingerprint. And there's a pretty cute voice prompt right over there, right? And let's just tap. Now, if you look at the screen recording right there, it is capturing your fingerprint just like how you usually register a fingerprint on your smartphone, all right? Done. And you simply name the, the finger that you have registered on the fingerprint reader, right? Let's just put the thumb because I have my thumb. And of course, you can also have the typical standard pin code if you actually prefer that. So let's just do one, two, three, four, five, six, right? And tap on next. All right, so it doesn't allow you to enter a too simple password, all right? So let's just do a more complicated one, right? Nine, seven, nine, seven, six, five. Let's hopefully I just I remember that, all right? And let's press done and next, all right? So it basically supports up to 10 digits uh, of code if you want to do that. Nine, seven, nine, seven, six, five. And let's tap on done. And this is my first pin code password right over here. So as you can see, it's so easy to configure the Akara A100 that you don't need to remember any 
complicated combinations like some other smart locks out there because some of them will require to enter a code and to remember which uh, which number to press to access some settings and all you can do uh, on configuring this car A100 is through its app here all right now of course you can also add on an NFC device such as your touch and go card if you want to but currently I do not have one on my hand right over here so you can actually have uh, some of your access passes to be coded into the A100 which is actually pretty convenient but one super cool feature that I want to show you guys right here is the home key feature now assuming now I'm going to lock this door right now right let's just lock it and if I want to unlock the door it's actually pretty simple all I need to do is just tap here and as you can see it simply unlocks the door already and I can just simply just pull down a handle and come into my studio the Akara A100's fingerprint reader works pretty well in my case, not unless I have sweaty hands and this is how it works. I'm just going to tap right over here and I can finally unlock the door lock just like this. Now, if you happen to run out of battery, there is actually a USB-C port right at the bottom here where you only just need to use a power bank and connect a Type-C cable to temporarily power up the door lock in order to access your home or office. Just in case any of these authentication methods don't work, you do of course have the option to use these physical keys to unlock the A100 if you ever need to. Now, one of the good things of connecting your Akara A100 to an Akara Smart Hub is that you can do stuff over the internet because since it is connected to an online hub, you can configure everything about the door lock on your phone over the internet even though if you are not in your house, all right? So I have the app on right now, so let me show you how you guys can generate a temporary password here so let's just, let's just head inside to the temporary password page so you can just tap add password so it will generate a random code which you can save it as a picture or copy the password uh, to send it over to your friends who's visiting your home so they can they can just use this passcode to enter without you uh, going to open door for them right so another feature that you can also do with uh, if you are connected to the hub here is apple home kit right so like i mentioned earlier this door lock supports apple home kit so once i go inside to my home app here let me just head inside and show you guys in a bit so there we go in my rooms here you can see that i have my car smart door lock as one of my accessories here i can lock the door just like this and it's happening all over the internet rather than the bluetooth connection which is what most smart door locks are actually doing so i can unlock the door from here i can lock it and I can just do it over the internet if someone says, hey Warren, I'm home, you know, I can just do it on my phone. The second benefit here is that you can enable automation with the rest of your car smart home products if you connect the A100 to a smart hub. So we have basically converted our office to smart switches as you can see right here. This is a tree gang switch that works pretty well in our case. So I have set two automations on the A100 now. The first one is to, to turn off everything in the office when I lift the handle, which is to lock the door. And the second automation is to turn on everything when I enter the office and unlock the door. All right, so I'm gonna show you how it works right now. So I'm gonna lift the handle right now. One, two, three, go. And everything should turn off. There we go. Everything turns off by itself. I mean, the aircon is off already. And I'm just gonna get out of the office right now. wait for a bit and I'm just going to unlock the door right now and everything should turn on there you go and all the lights are now back on So here are the list of if automations that you can do with the Smart Door Lock A100, which is very, very comprehensive. And I think this is probably one of the best Smart Door Locks that you can get in the market right now. And for this kind of price, this list of automation, I would say that is pretty darn worth it. So there you have it. This is the Akara A100 Smart Door Lock. It retails at 1,399 ringgit in Malaysia, and that includes a free installation if you intend to install it in your home. So this is a really, really nice smart lock that offers features and home automation that even more expensive smart door locks do not offer. And I highly recommend that you go check it out. So that's pretty much for the first episode of automation. Stay tuned for more episodes coming right up on the channel. Be sure to say subscribe and comment down below if you have any questions or thoughts about the Akara A100 or any other Akara smart home products. That's pretty much from me right now. I'm Warren and I will see you guys in our next episode of automation.